Hi, it's Kip K back with another weekend project from the pages of Make Magazine. It's been quite a long time since I've thrown a yo-yo, but just like a lot of things, like riding a bike, you don't really forget how to do it. Now, I might not be able to do all the cool tricks I used to do years ago, but it's still a lot of fun. Now, this is just an ordinary yo-yo, but not for long, because we're going to add some spin-activated LEDs to this yo-yo. It's a great project. You'll find it in Make Volume 22, and that's what we're going to build on today's weekend project. Make Volume 22 is where you'll find the LED Yo-Yo Project by Eric Chu. You'll need a yo-yo that has concave sides, kind of like this one that I picked up. We need to do some measuring, and the easiest way to do that is with a caliper. So we'll use our caliper to measure the inside diameter of the yo-yo. We need to use some thin plastic for this project, and the best that I could find was a CD case. So we'll be using the clear side, and we're going to draw a circle using a compass the size of the inside diameter of our yo-yo. In the article, Eric used a compass cutter, which would have come in handy, but I don't have one, so I used an X-Acto knife to cut out the little disc and make sure it was nice and round by sanding some of the edges. Our two LEDs will be powered by a 3-volt lithium battery, which we need to also measure using our caliper to get the outside diameter, and then make an outline of that on our plastic disc. Make two marks halfway between the battery outline and the edge of the disc, and then use a straight edge or ruler to make two marks through those because we're going to be drilling two holes in the plastic, which is where the LEDs will fit. Now the negative contacts of the LEDs need to be bent down flush to the plastic and put up pretty close together, because we're going to be adding some hot glue and gluing our lithium battery directly onto the plastic disc, making contact with the negative contacts of the LEDs. To check my connections, I just used a jumper, making contact with the positive end of the LED and the positive side of the battery. Now we need to make a small spring, so we'll be using some magnet wire and some sandpaper to get that enamel off the magnet wire. And then we're going to do five turns around a very small diameter screwdriver or the inside of a ballpoint pen. You never want to solder to a battery, so we're going to be using some aluminum tape, and we'll tape our little spring in place on the positive end of the battery and allow it to make contact with the positive ends of the LEDs that have been bent down in shape. And then our disc is installed in our yo-yo. The last thing to do would be to make another side cap just like we made for the other side of the yo-yo. So you have a total of four LEDs. Now, if you adjust the spring just right, you'll have your very own spin-activated LED yo-yo. We'll see you next time with another weekend project.